Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a little bit different for me. It's going to be about the movie Tombstone, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. It is a historical movie based on true events, but I know that they've taken some liberties with some of the actual things that happen in the OK Corral and Wyatt Earp and stuff like that. But that's not what we're going to discuss today. Today, I'm going to share with you guys some of the filming mistakes that they made. I don't know if you guys know about them or not, but sit tight and let's take a look at them. So in the opening of the movie, you're going to notice this priest coming out of the church from two different angles. The very first one he puts his hat on in the shade, and the second one he puts his hat on in the sun. Here it is in the shade, and then here it is in the sun. This next part is going to show a fuzzy windsock microphone can be seen in the lower left of the screen as the gang is walking up to the church. It's going to appear right before Ike Clanton passes. And just in case you missed it, here is a pause screen so you can see it. Here we can see Doc Holliday playing poker with Ed Bailey. I want you guys to keep your eye on the tin cup that's right in front of Doc. Ed eventually gets aggravated and tells Doc to show his cards. When he does show them, Ed gets furious and pushes a table. This causes Doc's cup to fall and roll off of the table. You can even see where Doc's head turns and watches the cup roll off of the table and onto the floor. The funny thing about it is... You'll see that tin cup back in place, like as if it never fell off of the table at all. After Doc stabbed Ed, he makes his way to the doorway where he and Big Nose Kate make their way outside. I want you to pay attention to the doorway and how bright it is outside. You can see sunlight and shadows from the building there. Clearly it's daytime, maybe mid-afternoon, but then you can see the street is completely in a shadow there. This next scene shows the Earp family meeting and greeting each other. Suddenly they turn to look at the reflection, and in the reflection you can notice the shadow from the camera. Their faces are lit up with no shadow, but when it cuts to them, there is actually a shadow on their face. And then, of course, it cuts right back to the reflection, and their faces are lit up and no shadow at all. Here we have Wyatt, and he's confronting Johnny Tyler inside the casino. Trying to rough him up a little bit and get him out of there so that he can gain control. I want you to look at the blood on Johnny's lips. It's just completely covered on that lower lip. This next shot just so it shows a couple dribbles coming down his lower lip. Here the Earps have met up with Sheriff White and he's kind of giving them a rundown of the cowboys in town. He actually points out that there's three of them across the street. The funny thing is, there is actually four. This sequence shows Wyatt meeting up with Josephine Marcus. Josephine decides to run the horses and wear them out, but pay attention to her legs. She's actually riding side saddle. You can see the two feet there. But she's really doing some amazing riding for side saddle. They end up jumping over logs and riding down steep embankments. All sorts of things that would be very difficult to do riding side saddle. 
There are a few shots where you can tell that her leg is up over the other side of the horse. Zoom in here a little bit and you can see it there. Clearly you can see the other foot too, so that one leg is a fake leg. But anyways, it's still exciting and part of the movie where they're kind of meeting each other and falling for each other. This next scene is where Curly Bill just came out of the opium tent and he is high. He starts shooting up the town, but I want you to pay attention to the shots and what he's hitting. As he turns and shoots the window, there's a little bit of a delay in the glass breaking. But as he shoots this lamp, check out this delay. Huge delay after the shot's fired. Here we have Sheriff Fred White, and he comes outside to stop Curly Bill from shooting. He asks for his pistols, and Curly accidentally shoots Fred. Once you keep your eye on the pistol that's below the left foot of Fred, When the townsfolk start coming out and it starts getting tense and the cowboys make their way over, evidently it's not just tense for them, but it's tense for the special effects people and the people on the set. Because the next scene that you see of Fred lying there, you're not going to see the pistol below his foot. It's just completely gone. But next, Virgil and Morgan come rushing out on the street to save the day, and the next street scene that you see with Fred, the pistol is back. In this scene, pay attention to the sun. Clearly, it's low, so it's either in the morning or the evening. But when it shows the cowboys across the street, it's midday, right smack dab in the middle of the day. Just kind of switches back and forth a couple times. They didn't match that up too well. This next event is the showdown in the OK Corral. And I want you to pay attention to one person. It's Fred McLowry. Right here, he's got his hat on. So it shows him with his hat on several times before the showdown happens. But then all of a sudden it shows a close-up of his face and he doesn't have his hat on at all. And it's clear. There he is. But then you start seeing him again especially when the shooting starts happening and all of a sudden his hat is back on his head oh like it never disappeared. This part immediately caught my eye. I actually thought Doc was firing three shots through a double barrel shotgun, but he's not. The first shot is just a warning shot to get the horse to jump up. The second shot he fires from the shoulder right here but then it cuts to a different angle of the same second shot, and it's from his waist. So I'm not sure why they didn't line that up too well. Here we have Ike, and he's going to take a gun from the sheriff, and then bust through the window and start firing. But I want you to pay attention to the window pane. Because it definitely switches several times as far as how much he's busted through. You can see that divider completely gone. The next shot shows the whole window gone. And then it cuts back, and he's busted through the window, but all the dividers are there. Not to mention, look how many shots that Doc's firing. No reloads. In this scene, we have Virgil walking outside, and they reveal some of the lighting equipment. As the lightning comes, you can see a pole above one of the buildings there shows it a couple times but definitely something that they didn't catch this is a scene where Morgan has been shot and he's dying Wyatt is going there and he's sad he's comforting him but he kisses him 
Take a look at the eyes. No matter how his head turns, those eyes are still focused on the ceiling. Here we have the posse stopped while McMasters is looking through his eyeglass. But pay attention to Doc. He starts coughing up blood. And there's blood all over his lower lip and chin. And then he passes out. When they catch him and show him at the next close-up, there's no blood at all on his chin or his lip, and nothing's been wiped at all. This is one of the biggest scenes of the whole movie, the showdown between Johnny Ringo and Doc. As it starts showing the eyes, you can look at the close-up of Ringo and actually see the edge of his contact. Even though there's some filming mistakes in this, I still love this movie. Come on. Come on. Oh, Johnny. Come on. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you don't, well then... You're no daisy. You're no daisy at all. Poor soul. You were just too high strung. If you enjoy learning about the Old West, then check out these videos. I like to go around and visit the grave sites of old lawmen and outlaws. Thanks for watching.